It was a deep sort of elemental fear that, you know, the first three days, is he going to survive? What does it mean? You could see how very badly impacted he'd been. Yeah, so he couldn't move his right side at all. So his um, right arm, his right leg, he couldn't lift his leg one inch off the bed. I think self-care is really number one because if you're not okay, then it's impossible to care for your loved ones. Um, you've got to find something that brings you joy because it's hard work being a carer. I found my stress levels rising, a lot of stress, and I was worried about her. I stopped looking after me. Yeah, it was full on for poor old Carol. It really it was emotionally bad for her and humiliating for her at times for the things that I had to do for her or a nurse had to do for her. Um, yeah, it was tough stuff. And... I've got two paths I can take. I can either give up and go down that deep, dark hole, which occasionally you do, or I do, or I can choose to just get up and keep going because otherwise it becomes bigger if you don't keep going um, and there aren't other people that can take on your role and you do it. You're doing it out of love. That's the reason you're doing it and I think love is what keeps you going. And people say, how do you do it? I say, well, it's called love, it's called passion, and that's why I do it. Um, I don't do it for tickets, I don't do it for any recognition. I do it because that's what I was signed up to do. So I just believe that these challenges have all been thrown up to me for a reason. Um, so I just go at it as best I can.